Another feature that we've created in Page Generator Pro is the ability to create both a keyword and a content group using OpenAI. To do this, you'll need to click on Settings and Integrations and be certain that you have an applicable OpenAI API key present and select the model. We normally recommend the 3.5 Turbo. Then on the Generate Content screen, you'll see this option to add new using OpenAI. What this will do is, based on the service or product that you're looking to create pages about, Page Generator Pro will create both a keyword and a content group with some pre-filled information from OpenAI. For example, if we're building a website for a kitchen fitter, we could enter kitchen fitter here. For the word count, we'll select the number of words that we'd like the content to be, and then the language could be English or any other language that you require. Once you're happy with this, we click on create, and depending on the service or product that we've entered, along with the length of the content that we require, this will now go and query OpenAI and build both our keyword and content group. Once OpenAI has completed its work, we'll see this screen with both the keyword and content group listed. Let's go ahead and click on edit for the keyword. And we can see here that we've got our keyword along with a list of terms related to the kitchen fitting that we entered earlier. We can use this opportunity to go through our list of terms and remove any that might not be related to our service. For example, uh, our business might not offer plumbing, electrics, tiling, flooring, and so on. So we'll go ahead and remove these for the purpose of this demonstration, and we'll stick with these first seven. Scroll down and click Save. Of course, if I feel that there should be other terms related to the service that need to be listed here, I could go ahead and add those as well. For the content group, we'll click on edit, and we'll see here that we've got our keyword in the title, and then OpenAI has gone and produced an article with a selection of headings and text with the keyword within the content. If we're within Gutenberg, you can optionally convert this to blocks, and this will give us a more native look. We'll go ahead and click update, and to quickly demonstrate how this looks on the content group tab, we can scroll down and click on test and click on OK. We can review our page and we can see that the keyword has been replaced by the first term, which is kitchen fitting. And we can go through and see that. This tool is really useful as a starting point. From here, you would want to proofread the content, possibly make some changes to it things like inserting images between the content, perhaps if you want to add a contact form or anything like that, you can do that as well.